Okay, so this video is basically just my first year experience at university. For those of you who don't know, I did medicine with foundation year. So basically for me, I had like two first years because my foundation year classed as a first year and my first year of medicine classes as my first year as well. So um, yeah, in that sense, I was lucky to be honest. So in terms of the course, I'm not going to lie, it was hard. Um, but obviously you got to expect that for medicine. There was a lot of stuff to learn, there was a lot of stuff to do, there was a lot of stuff to keep up with. For example, you have clinical placements, you have um, work experience, you have surgical visits, you've got um, assignments, you've got your exams to prepare for, you've got summarised lectures. Basically the list is endless. So there's a lot of things to keep up with, but the thing is if you enjoy human biology or if you just enjoy biology in general, like you get along with it and you, you just get on with it as well because you enjoy what you're doing. Whereas if you're doing medicine for the wrong reasons, you normally find it hard because you haven't got that proper motivation to keep you going. And the best thing is to make sure you're organised because organisation is key to getting through your degree. In terms of friends, um, so I met these group of lads in the first week and um, we sort of got along really well because we've got similar interests in music or whatever, or sports, and um, like we just, I don't know, it's weird, but we just got along basically. But, um, and they're the ones that I'm living with next year as well in the house. So if you want to see the video of our new house, um, just check my channel out. I just uploaded it like last week or something. So check that one out, it's a sick house, honestly. And yeah, so in terms of friends, we sort of stuck together um, yeah, since the first or second week and yeah. The, the, the thing is right, with, at university you'll see people change their friends like every month or every week. Like there's one person I know every week they were with a new, like a new best friend and it was weird. But um, it's normally because, well like there's a lot of arguments as well within friends um, at university. And that's because when people get drunk, they do stupid things, and then that causes arguments, and then they break, like they break up, sort of thing. So, yeah, um, I'm lucky. I've got a good group of lads. In terms of paid work, there was a lot of people getting jobs at Sainsbury. Uh, we have a local Sainsbury, so people are working there. People are working in Costa Coffee, which is near us. There's like a retail park near us so you can get a job anywhere. Some people are working in like pizza shops and stuff like that. So you can get a job um, and it's not a problem. And I will probably advise it because you're going to be broke halfway through the year when it, when it comes to December. So it's best to get a job, but during the exam time, it's probably best to cut down as well because you, obviously your exams are much more important. And often the ones who work throughout exam time have to reset in the summer as well. So it's best to sort of quit your job um, when it comes to the exam period. In terms of social time, basically I didn't get as much social time because I'm a medical student, but all my friends, the three, the three other lads, they're business finance, um, sorry, they're, they're accountancy finance, business management or marketing students, so they had a lot of free time, like their lectures started at 12, finished at 2, whereas I had lectures from like 9 all the way till 5, and even after my lectures I had to summarise the lectures for like 2 or 3 hours, so while they were all chilling or staying up late, like I had to go to bed quite early and, and often I was summarising lectures. But the free time that I did have, we were either playing sport or we were playing FIFA or like we were just chilling watching movies in one of their flats. Because halfway through the year, basically, we got a bit bored. One of my friends owned a 50 inch TV and the other one brought his PS4 up. So like we, we were chilling the rest of the year. In terms of sport, um, the, the thing is at university, I feel like more people play sport at university than they did at GCSE or A level. Um, and it's because you have so much more free time, or some, some people have a lot more free time, and also there's a lot more sports on offer. So for example, at university, or before university I used to play rugby, but when I came to university, um, I started playing football, I started playing table tennis, I started playing basketball, um, I, I was playing ultimate frisbee once or twice um, I don't know you just try out different things and it's it's quite interesting and it's quite fun as well so for example basketball like I never thought basketball would be fun but I kind of enjoy it now um, but yeah so a lot of people spend their free time playing sports and during exam time as well a lot of the societies book one of the courts up um, just to de-stress by playing sports 
Um, so it's a nice way to sort of de-stress and get along with other people on your course or other people at your uni as well. Another thing is as well, I swear at university so many people have lost weight because like they're playing so much sports like for example even with me I'll be playing like football three times a week sometimes you play football five times a week and then you obviously you try to play some basketball sometimes and then table tennis like a couple of hours a week as well. It's just whatever free time you have and when you're not doing anything or when you're bored of playing FIFA or watching movies basically you're just playing sports so that's one good thing about uni. Um, another thing as well, gym memberships are cheaper at a lot of universities so for example I paid 120 quid for my gym membership for the year which is works out 10 quid a month that's like that's the cheapest membership you can possibly get so a lot of people join the gym and you see a lot of people getting hench over the years or well. so um, yeah but that's basically my first year experience and um, I'll do another video like this with my friends as well so you can get an idea of their first year experience but thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and check out the other videos but bye for now